Okay, so I finally got around to seeing Hamilton. Yay! But now I have questions. I want to know more about the history, the actual stories behind the show, the people involved, and I want to learn some of the jokes that I think I missed because I don't know enough about American history. So what can the library do to help me fill in those gaps in my knowledge? Let's start with Overdrive, or Libby if you're on a device. So there's a bunch of stuff here in Overdrive, starting with Hamilton, The Revolution by Lin-Manuel Miranda. So this is the book he wrote about his process and about his show and all that kind of stuff. Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow, which is actually the book that Lin-Manuel Miranda was reading when he got the idea for Hamilton. A bunch more books on Hamilton, Eliza Hamilton, the duel between Hamilton and Burr, and then all of those people, Thomas Jefferson and George Washington, the Founding Brothers, Washington by Ron Chernow. There's all kinds of information in here about this, the forming of America and what that means to today. Bunker Hill, the Battle of Bunker Hill, George Washington's Secret Six, the spy ring that um, Hercules Mulligan alludes to. So all of those books are available in Overdrive, some of which you can get right away, some of which you might have to wait for. And if you're not willing to wait, well, let's hop on over to Hoopla and see what's over there. So again, Hoopla has stuff, including the Hamilton soundtrack. So if you can't get enough of that soundtrack, you can listen to it on Hoopla. They also have the Hamilton mixtape, both the clean versions and the original. This great documentary, Hamilton, One Shot to Broadway, was done by PBS. They started while he was still in the process of writing it, and it follows him through as it was getting popular. So I thought that was really interesting. Adultery and Apology, I think that one's about the Reynolds pamphlet. You can read the Federalist Papers. Again, lots more information about Alexander Hamilton, Aaron Burr, the Schuyler sisters, and Elizabeth Hamilton in specific. So again, all kinds of great information you can get into. But what if you're interested in the historical documents behind the show? Well, we can help you there too. If you head back over to Herrick's website and go to Research and Learn, eResearch, that's going to bring up all of the databases we have that's just full of information. And I'm going to go over here to Subject, and I'm going to narrow it down to History and Social Issues. And that's going to bring up just the databases that deal with history. And let's start with Milestone Documents in American History. So these are actual full text documents from American history. And so say we really enjoyed Cabinet Battle Number 1. Cabinet Battle 1, that rap battle between Jefferson and Hamilton. So in the show, they do a rap battle, but in real life, they actually wrote out their opinions on the constitutionality of the Bank of the United States. So you can actually get in here and see the full text of their opinions. You can see how much he took from real life and how much he kind of made up on his own to make a good story. Or if you liked the song One Last Time, which I think was a really great song, we can look up. George Washington's farewell, and that will bring up the full text of his farewell address, which I believe some of what was in the song was taken directly from there. So you can get in here and read that full text document of George Washington moving on and not going for president for a third term. Or let's say you're like me and you're a fan of King George III in the show. You can read... proclamation by the king that's sort of the source to you know you'll be back and all of that proclamation by the king for suppressing rebellion and sedition so that's the actual proclamation sent over to try and stop us from having the American Revolution so that's some great documents we can look into what else is there let's try this great lives from history and so here you can search for Alexander Hamilton, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, George Washington, King George III. Um, you can look up John Jay, who was mentioned as one of the authors of the Federalist Papers. So you can learn a little bit more about him in here. You can also look up John Adams, who was mentioned in the I Know Him song, 
as being the second president of the United States. So you can kind of look into him. So again, a lot of great information about different people mentioned in the show. But let's say you're not really into a bunch of stale old documents. One of the other places we can head to is Canopy. Canopy has a lot of great films, independent films, documentaries, and things. So we can come over here and try a couple of things. So if we just search for Alexander Hamilton, we get a couple of things to come up. Um, Alexander Hamilton, Biography of a Founding Father. That one's also done by PBS. Confusions about Jefferson and Hamilton. That's part of the Great Courses series. Or, let's see, we could just type in... American Revolution. What do they have on that? So they have a whole episode from Great Courses on the American Revolution. One talking about specifically economic crisis. This one here, Liberty, the American Revolution. It's another PBS documentary. This here, there's two episodes from this series, Shaping of the American Nation. These two specifically deal with John Lawrence and whether, well, he's deciding whether or not he wants to join the revolution. And these are taken directly from letters between him and his father. And the part of, part of John Lawrence in this one is played by Michael Douglas. So those are some great ones to watch. Um, we could also look up Aaron Burr, if you were interested in him. Aaron Burr conspiracy trial. This goes into what happened to him after the events of Hamilton. You could look up George Washington, James Madison, Thomas Jefferson. There's a great Ken Burns documentary on Thomas Jefferson in here. So lots of options here in Canopy. So if you've gotten through your documentaries and you're interested in learning a little bit more, if we go back to our History and Social Histories databases, we have this Gale Opposing Viewpoint Library. And so say you were interested in the song what did I miss? In that song, they specifically mention that they've um, come down to a two-party system, and people aren't happy about that. So in here, you can see both sides of that. So there's a bunch of different articles and viewpoints and opinions on two-party system is good, two-party system is bad, and you can make your own decisions from those articles. Um, if you like the song, Washington on your side, we smack each other in the press and we don't print retractions. We can look at negative campaigning, which seems to have started all the way from the first presidential campaign for the second president. And again, it, it provides some viewpoints from both sides, why you might do it, why you may not do it, or wouldn't want to do it. So you can get in here and read that information and make your own decisions. Again, taken directly from the songs. And then there's a couple of other sources you can get to for finding out more about the people involved. But we can also go to the History Reference Center. And we can find out about specific battles. So the Battle of Yorktown, which was, you know, the huge thing. Correspondence, capitulation. So there's a lot of information here about the Battle of Yorktown what went into it, what was the causes, controversies about it, how it came to be. So you can get access to a lot of great information about the backstory of Hamilton, all with your library card.